So, okay. So like I said, really struggling to find Netflix originals, man, that I had seen. So um, I had to go outside the sphere of that once more, um, and I watched The Town. Out of my review. You grew up right here. Same rules that I did. I hear you got sweet new girlfriend. Secret's this one. If I think anything might happen to her, I'm gonna kill both of you. Are you in love with me? Yes. The reason why I selected The Town was... Um, I was rolling through Netflix and I saw it and I remembered that here's the thing about being on the internet and being on the internet for a significant amount of time is you do movie reviews and eventually you, you do so many movie reviews that you don't remember what you said about them. All you remember is that you said something and you've seen the movie before. This is one of those times. So I was like, well, let's do a, do an experiment where I, I watch this and then I see what I said afterwards and I see if I still agree. And Jordan, would you like to know if I still agreed? And what you and, and bonus action, what you thought of this movie? I opened four. <laughs> I, I I thought that it was okay. It was I liked it. I didn't love it. Would be the best term to use. I um, liked it. I wouldn't sit through it again. Would be the best. Term yeah, I liked it. Did love it. It. I watched this movie. Yes, there's an internet video. You're in it. You're in it. It's on, oh. our, it's on a YouTube channel uh, that, we gonna, that we have. You can go watch it. I'm this gonna podcast. guess. I'm gonna guess that you. Fuck it! I'll put it in the pop, in the description. Okay. I'm gonna guess that you liked it, um, and and that your opinion has largely remained the same. Right, 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 right. Um, and and I'm gonna guess that my memories were that I was indifferent mostly and was not as impassioned about it as you. Because that was a lot of the movies back then. Yes, in fact, that's well. No, actually, um, quite, quite. You're, you're wrong. You're right. You're half right. So yes, you were pretty indifferent. Um, but I think at the time you were pretty indifferent to the whole experience. Also, I had a thing about for whatever reason we used to shoot our videos just in the dark, and like we would just shine a light on us. And so a lot of them are like, <laughs> it's like just unbelievably overexposed. We're super bright and we're just staring into a lap, which is kind of what I'm doing now. Um, and so there's just a lot of you being like, I'm being blinded right now. Um, you, you were pretty indifferent about it. Um, I did not care for it. I, I My exact words were I... I, I give, me, give me the five minute rundown. What is this movie? I'm getting there. There's background. This is the angle I'm taking on this. So... Um, oh, okay. Um, all right. Yeah, Fair you enough. you were you were you 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 were indifferent. My exact words were, you know what? We'll get to it. So okay. So this is a movie. It's Ben Affleck. It's Jeremy Renner, and they are bank robbers in Charlestown. I'm I'm, I'm a Boston sub area or something. Um, and the whole premise is they're bank robbers. They rob a bank, and um, they they uh, take the bank manager hostage. Um, and Ben Affleck falls in love with her and simultaneously John Hamm is there and he's trying, he's investigating them. And it's basically about their life as bank robbers. Uh, Jeremy Renner is like, they're like childhood friends. And, um, Jeremy Renner has recently gotten out of jail and he keeps pushing Ben Affleck to do more and more like crime, like bank robberies, even though like there's a lot of heat on them. And Ben Affleck is like trying to get out of the life um yeah uh, and and i and i watched this yeah yeah yeah. there's a video of it i'll, I'll put it in the link of this video I'll, I'll link it in the description of this video um and I our, have our, our thing was no like, no memory here, here's what i'm gonna say okay um a lot of times i watch those videos and i go yeah man i had bad opinions back then or i i'm not articulating myself well or man i would love to, to sit there and tell myself how wrong i am because i was very wrong because it's a pretty it's a good movie and it's like a lot of my shit was like, oh, they don't explain anything because I needed everything spoon fed to me back then. So like they don't explain anything. Everything is underexplained. Um, or we couldn't we couldn't understand the accent because they have a really thick. I can't. I, I don't know how else to describe it other than Boston, a really thick Boston accent. And so we, we were having trouble understanding them. That was a big thing. So there was a lot of plot points where like we we couldn't like. There's a plot point involving Ben Affleck's mother who disappeared, and we were like. We couldn't understand what happened to her. And they very clearly say what happened to her in this movie. Um, the There's a big 
this Irish boss mob boss guy who's basically controlling all of them. And he was like, oh, he, we were like, oh, he said, oh, I, I castrated your daddy. I You're going to do this for me? Or I'm going to clip your nuts. I can clip your daddies. I castrated your daddy into doing what I want. I got your, your mom hooked on the drugs and she became an addict. He's Irish. That's a bad Irish accent. Um, and we couldn't understand what he was saying. So we were like, yeah, so he castrated the dad. And it's like, no, Justin, no, you, you, you dumb, dumb, dumb idiot. Um, he, he wasn't saying he literally castrated the dad. He was being metaphorical. He metaphorically castrated the dad by getting the mom addicted to drugs that he was providing her and he controlled the dad that way. So what he was saying was, I had your dad by the balls, like, you know, an allegory. <laughs> um, and it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, that makes a I lot had, of sense. The, the movie says them like every question I had, I was like, Justin, if you, if you paid attention to the movie, the movie answers all of your questions, my guy, like you really, are bad at this. <laughs> like it's, it's just, it was just really funny. Um, oh, oh, young Justin, you have so much to learn. I know you have so much to learn about film criticism. Um, and so uh, uh, our other thing was um, Jeremy Renner and uh, and Ben Affleck are childhood um, friends. They've been friends since childhood, and I keep calling him his brother. We keep calling him. I keep he, that's his brother. And you're like, that's not, it's not his brother. It's his child. It's a friend from childhood, but they're basically brothers. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to call them brothers, but they're not actually brothers. They're, they're childhood friends. And that was a bit, we just kept doing the I, whole video. I, I, I said that? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's a, cla that's a classic that's, Justin that's and Jordan funny. bit. So I just kept calling him his brother. You're like, he's not his brother. Um, just as a quick aside. So I then, was. I, I was I was the accurate and smart one in this one, and and you yeah, were the one who kept so, being wrong. It's so funny because you're you, not to say that you're not quick anymore, but you you were very quick. I don't know if you watched the clip I did. I posted on TikTok, um, with from from our Daybreakers review, which is like you're gonna go. I saw that movie. You remember that's you, the one where they have to be where they have to be vampires in cars. I don't remember. Okay, so you maybe remember this. I, honest to God, I don't remember what that movie's about. The only I thing think, I, I kind I, I of vaguely so. remember... I, I, have, I have vague memories of that one being about basically where the vampire society is, like, they, they are the main society, and the humans are the ones that are, like, in hiding because the vampires took over. Okay, and so the vampires I, develop, I vaguely develop a bunch that. of technology technology and cars and stuff which like keep out the uv oh i said i don't remember that i i remember that i remember i think dr grant is in it for some reason i remember that i um, I, I think that's what that one I is I, that, I, I certainly I, I certainly have a, a memory about a movie that is like that I, so so that i posted a clip on tiktok which i i, I oh man you should watch it because it's, it's genuinely funny but there's a bit in it where I, or i'm like oh there's a creepy I, bit i have a I have a hard time watching young, like not not just They're like funny. myself doing stuff like this, but younger Jordan in general just makes me crazy. Yeah, it's it's so weird. You're fast. You're fast in those videos in a different way than you are here. It's hard to describe. It's it's so it's like yeah, man. You're seventeen, eighteen, and you've got the mind of a seventeen, eight year old, seventeen, eighteen year old, and like it's just different. It's hard. So there's a really funny bit. Yeah, where, less, less mature, definitely. I, and sort of, and I'm I'm way worse. I I yeah, I'm way worse. We're not gonna we're not gonna repeat some of the stuff I've said in the past. It's bad. I'm I'm not particularly proud of it. Um, but um, there's a really funny, yeah, there's a bit where we're talking about. I guess there's a bit where they have uh human farms where they're farming humans, and 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 obviously <laughs> they don't see the need to give them clothes. So I point out, yeah. <laughs> I point out the naked humans. And and I'm like and I'm like and they've got big boobs, which doesn't I, I, I don't understand how because you think like they're sucking blood out of them, the boobs would shrink, right? And then you go <laughs> you you go you go uh, I I'll be honest, Justin, I wasn't really thinking about that. I wasn't really thinking about the weird naked people that they were farming for blood. I don't really think that's the point of this movie. And, and then <laughs> I, I go, I go, yes, that's obviously what this movie's about. The weird naked people. <laughs> uh, 
It's very <laughs> funny. And there was a few when I was, blood, when I was watching these blood, videos. Blood. Blood. The word, the word, that, the word that you're looking for of what I used to be was blunt. I used to be far more blunt. Oh man, no, we we were we we, 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 we were that. always meant to do this, Jordan. That's, I guess maybe that's the that's point. Hard. We were always meant to do this. Now I have, now now I have to go back and watch that because uh, yeah, that's hilarious. I, just, I don't know. I don't know what prompted me to. I think maybe it was um I I okay um I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. He didn't say I couldn't, but I, I'm gonna be doing. I might be doing a appearance on a podcast where. I talk about Whoa, this sort of spoilers. Stuff. Maybe, maybe. But it got it got me thinking, man, today has been Tangent City. Jake, yeah. you're infectious. Yeah. Today has been Tangent City, but just on a re on a, on a tangent. Um Do you rem or a question for Jordan? Um, do you remember the first movie that you felt like passionate about in a critical way? Oh. I can't remember. Like the first movie I see, were like, "This is a bad movie, and here's why I think it's bad." Because, because obviously, the first time for us is, and, and we're gonna we're gonna do it on the show one day. Um, the, 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 I want to do like an first, origin story one... episode, but um, uh, for us, the first the, our first experience of, of doing a movie review is when we reviewed Dragon Ball Evolution. Me. Me and Jordan, we this 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 past weekend we I died a little bit. Inside. We we witnessed a horrible, horrible tragedy. It was it was quite. They just they just they, they slaughtered it. They, it. they wouldn't stop. It was it was. Just, why couldn't we help him? I, I don't know. I it was just oh, we kept we kept going at it over and and, and I mean and, oh. Arise, Shenron! Dragon. It was just that's the very first video of us doing yeah. a review. And I don't know That's what prompted that. That's definitely one. That's definitely one that I remember. The other one that comes to mind is Barry. That was another big one. That's after. That's after uh, Dragon Ball. That's after. That's after Dragon Ball Evolution. For you, I I know that there was a period there where you were you were very passionate about Spider Man Two. Yeah, that's after. That's after. Yeah. That's, is that after? That's after. Yeah. That's when I started to get into like the nostalgia critic and like those then, guys. I guess I. It, then it I'm must guessing be it must Evolution. have been. Must be Dragon Ball Evolution. I just hated that movie so much that it pushed me into like being critical. But what prompted us to get on camera? I mean, I can't speak to what prompted us to get on camera, but what I can say is, at that point, you were watching a lot of like, uh, nostalgia critic, angry video game nerd, uh, confused yeah. Matthew in particular. Confused Matthew, um, yeah, definitely was a major influence in my decision to like wanna... that. I wanted to be them. that that style, <laughs> and so I, I know there was a period where you made one. We like where we did the Justin Jordan picks to try and get on. Uh, um, oh yeah, yeah, that that uh, I the, the other the Dragon, guys. The Dragon Ball Evolution review. I the did, Dragon I, Ball. I was thinking Evo about this. I was like, what prompted us to like get on camera and do it? Who are we doing it for? I I mean I I'm guessing we just we wanted to just talk about it and have an audience maybe like, like I don't know eventually eventually we did we did the one where we ate a shit we had a, like a shit ton of like Coca Cola and candy and we were like high on sugar and we came home and we did a really high energy one that a uh, 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 um um a friend who is not really a friend anymore I haven't spoken to in years um but I used to work with him. And he loved us. He he like would comment on all of our stuff, and he said we were hilarious. And we would get. I comments. mean, I we guess got maybe all sorts of comments telling us how funny we were. Um, I, I guess that's maybe not me being the, narcissistic. The the they're real. That, they exist. <laughs> I I I guess maybe part of the the reason the thing that that made. Now, I know how us I continue, slash you I because because I have to. I have to be honest that most of the the desire to be on film probably came from you. Yeah. yeah um, and and I mean, and you then probably knowing how I was then and knowing what like the influence you can have on me, you probably appeal to my narcissistic side that likes to have attention and yes. and called back to our days to our days doing the Scott and Jordan show. And and the thrill that that gave me, yeah. Um, and yeah. and we're like and we're like, you know, maybe we could do it. And, and that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know. I just I yeah, I've just I've been I've, I've been thinking about that because I'm like I'm probably gonna be asked that eventually. And I just I just I don't I don't I don't know where it began. 
Like, I know where it began in terms of it's like archived. It's where it's archived. I just don't know where it began well, for us from like a, a, a like some a would argue to, like tell people about how much we hated that movie. I hated that movie. I still hate some it. would <laughs> some some would argue that that our performative desires started from childhood when we attempted to make the spur movie. Yeah, that is true. We did attempt that. Yeah. No. Yeah. So I, uh... like. We we've we've always had a desire to be in front of the camera in some capacity. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Yeah, um, but that's that's yeah that but that exists. I don't I don't know if you could find that one. That one exists on my Facebook. Um, I don't know if it ever made it to uh to YouTube. It looks like shit. But uh, there's there's only one review. There's one review I'm ashamed of, and I'm almost tempted. One day of doing it on this show and, and like copying to why I'm ashamed of it. Um, I will not delete it. I will not delete it. If anyone ever somehow manages to find it and I get canceled for it, just know that I was like 19 and I thought I was funny. That's all I will say. I wasn't always. Oh, funny. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm ashamed of most of them. Um, no, man. A lot of them are good. Like genuinely, a lot of them are good. Um, we're, we, 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 um, the thing about the thing about us is we were always ahead of the curve when it came to to stuff, and then we just gave up, and then other people got successful doing it, but we were doing it first. So like the the us sitting in front of the webcam and just doing this, people weren't really doing that. Um, reviews in cars, like we did a couple of our reviews in the car, people weren't doing that, and then like midnight screening, two people in a car doing movie reviews became super popular and i'm like man we were doing that like 10 years ago and like 10 people watched us like if we had kept at it we could be say anyway i digress um that was a weird tangent um, well we're there we're, we're there now this this is this has been my this has been my uh my essay on how um, I guess the whole thesis of this is less about the the town, which is a pretty good movie, and more about how uh, your your ability to critique and and your opinions evolve and change, and how it turns out when you watch hundreds of movies, you become smarter. And also, I've had a lot of influences when it comes to when it comes to learning about film on YouTube. School of YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Google and YouTube are free, and you will learn a lot. Save yourself the money on an on a, on a film school education. Watch YouTube videos instead. Jordan, what's your next one? 